Get Wait, their name and I told you guys light. are supposed to have lights in here. Listen, if the sergeant warned you guys about your bikes, you guys are warned. I'm sorry. Did I hear you have to have a license to ride a bike? I gave you You're going to get a I just got up in my house. I have a bike. So police swarm a neighborhood and confiscate bicycles. Oh. And your man is out of control over there a little bit. And, you know, you're going to have to take you know, hit, hit. Police then play up stereotypes to justify their inhumane actions. Because we live way in Edison. What the f***? We live way in Edison. Because we live way in Edison. What the f*** you Y'all see this, man? Over some bikes, but yeah. Yeah, different. Then they choose to arrest one dude and throw him in the squad car. Man, this crazy, bruh. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it is crazy. Here's the beginning of the video via Christian Orozco's YouTube channel. The cops tried cutting off these kids on their bikes in Perth Amboy, New Jersey. I appreciate you guys stopping, okay? All right, I told Excuse you I promise you don't take your bike. It's not taking your bike. So the supervisor promises no bikes will be confiscated. Oh. Yeah, give me your bike. What you mean? Wait, 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 no, you ain't give me my bike. No. He just said no. What you mean? Wait, sir. I, I had he just said no. Yeah, cool. It isn't until this officer goes on a power trip to take her form of justice into her own hands that the bikes get confiscated. Just say, look, he got the, he got something different off of all y'all. He just said, no, okay. no, I you're not getting my bike. I advised 30 cases earlier today okay. right. that they were not to be in the middle I of the street. I just got out. I advised. When was this? I'm on watch. You're not getting my bike. I advised. You ain't put not one dollar in this bitch. Right. And your mom could come back and get it. You ain't put not one dollar. And your parents could come and get it. You see one dollar? Did you put it all in this? You know what? Did you put a dollar Take their bike. Wait, I'm not even doing anything. That's showing how great they are to American civilians. She tells a kid he has to find a way home after confiscating his only mode of transportation. Incredibly, per Ross story, Perth Amboy has a law requiring a bicycle license tag, but the teens say they live in Edison and we're just riding home. You know that we told you guys to stay on the sidewalk. I did not hear you. I was hiding in the front. But wait. Since when should people be riding their bikes on the sidewalk? Later at the police station, one officer told the teen he was lucky to get his bike back, asking if he had the purchase receipt for the bike and if it is registered with them. The officer also says the teens were told to stay on the sidewalk, but they were also told to stay on the road and ride with traffic. She says they did all this for their safety. Sounds like she wrapped herself in a word pretzel. As Saha wrote, Perth Amboy requires they be registered, but contrary to her first charge, they also prohibit riding on sidewalks in many places around town. So she also accused them of riding on the wrong side of the road. They did not. How many cops do it take for a public photographer? Well, we're just trying to see what you're doing, man. Walking around filming everybody with a gun on the That's totally legal. I don't county property. I don't, I don't think that this is public property. This is county. Which is public property. This is located in Hendersonville, North Carolina. It's public. This is tax pay. It's, well, if you don't think so, I need you to know so. Because these are my rights you're about to violate. A police surrounding one man. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cops out here. And you got your hand on your gun for what reason? For my safety. Are, are you ready to shoot me? No, I'm not. So why you got your hand on your gun? Because I can't. Tell me your name. Just take it, William. So what you're telling me right now is, per the Constitution, I cannot open carry or film in none of this area. Per the county policy. Per the county. Oh, so but policy isn't law. And attempting to violate his rights. I Thank need y'all to see this, okay? Hey, hey, He's going to take the top off his gun. He's ready to shoot me. The county parking lot, it is county property, but the parking lot is public. You are right about that. But it is abnormal for people to walk around the parking lot with an open carry pistol. But is it legal? It doesn't matter whether it's legal or illegal. But you're the supervisor, so you should know this more than anybody. Is it legal? It is legal. All right, any of y'all detaining right. me? Anybody detaining me here? All right. Since you're not going to be rational and talk to me, we're going to leave. Thank you. Bye. Showing why it is so utterly important to know them at all times. The man filming is, well, frankly, we don't need to give you his name. He just goes by. Hey, what, hey man, what's your name? I don't, I'm not giving that out. I haven't broken the law. Well, I want to know what to refer to you as. Good citizen, please. Good citizen? Yes, sir. A staunch First and Second Amendment rights activist. And on his YouTube channel, he schools officers on simply knowing a citizen's rights time and time again. Here's how he does it. This is an area that's for 
the employees of the sheriff's Is office. there a statute to back that up? Is your it? cat got your tongue. Is there a penal code that backs that up? No. Is yeah. there a signed document by the judge or your sheriff that legalizes that, that statement that, that you made? This? No, there isn't. There's a sign that says employee parking, correct? Right. Does it say that, uh, does it say authorized personnel? You look like you're, a, you've seen a ghost.